Many people in America want that dream life. They want to achieve the highest level they can do in their life, and they go to do it, but then they forget how to plan the rest of their life. Because once you've hit that peak performance, once you've gotten there, once you've arrived, how do you manage your time to serve other people that are actually literally counting on you, waiting for you, expecting you? And a lot of times those people fail. I once worked in a company where the man had worked his whole life to become a president. And once he became president, he didn't know how to behave very often as a president. Most of the time you could hear him and see him running around a shop floor acting if he was still a shop manager in manufacturing long ago when I was in my early 20s. And I made that assessment observation over a good two and a half years of time that he was never going to stop being a micromanager who would be interfering with my employees and other people's accountabilities. It's why some of his best people left like me. Now, when we talk about those things, we're not talking about my life so that you can run off and pretend to be me. We're talking about the fact that to become me, it took a hell of a lot of time. And to become the best you, it takes time and lessons and learning. But if you don't want to learn, then you're not going to earn. You might earn for a few minutes, but you're earning off of thieving from someone. You're earning off of taking away someone else's dream. And I just want to ask you, how many of your friends and family want to know that about you.